Hello everyone. My name is Yuki Ueda. Thank you so much um, for an opportunity to talk in this workshop. Today, I'll talk about on rate of convergence towards free extreme value distributions. Free extreme value distributions are coming from free probability theory. Uh, free probability theory was studied by Boyk-Resk to understand free products of Neumann algebras. After that, this theory is related with the following fields, for example, classical probability and extreme value theory, and random matrix theory, and quantum information theory, and machine learning. In free probability theory, we can consider the concept of probability theory, for example, probability space, random variables, independence, distribution function, and maximum or random variables. In free probability theory, a probability space is a pair of Neumann algebra and the normal phase of the Torresia state. The Torresia state is called the expectation of random variables. Random variables is interpreted as an affiliated self-adjoint operators. Independence is changed by the free independence. Distribution function is defined by like here. And so ET is a spectral projection of T. Finally, the maximum random variables is defined by affiliated self adjoint operators such that the spectral projection of Z is equal to the maximum of spectral projections of X and Y with respect to the usual operator order. Benaru and Boyk-Resk in 2026 for pre-affiliated self-adjoint operators X and Y, we obtain the uh, distribution function, the maximum of X and Y is equal to this value. This value is uh, written by the free max convolution. Recall in classical external value theory, uh, it's important to consider the extreme value distribution, which is a limit distribution of max stable type, max stable type of random variables. Similarly, in free probability, uh, it's important to consider a uh, free analog of classical extreme value distribution. A non-degenerate distribution function u is called a free extreme value distribution if the distribution function of renormalized random variables weakly converges to U for some sequence of identically distributed free affiliated self adjoint operators, positive sequence AI and real sequence BI. In classical extreme value theory, uh, the extreme value distribution are characterized by three type of distribution function, Gumbel, Fresche, and Weibull. Similarly, Benaru and Boyk-Resk characterized uh, the three extreme value distribution by three type distribution function, exponential and parity and beta. Okay, right. Wn as a renormalized maxima. We write the natural equation as follows. Suppose the sample distribution is f and assume the distribution function of Wn converges weakly to free extreme value distributions. Then what's upper bound is the following column group distance as follows. Today, we only talk the case of gamma equal to zero and the sample distribution is Gumbel distribution. The distribution function of Wn converges weakly to free gamma free Gumbel distribution whenever Wn is defined by like here. We then obtain the distribution function of Wn is calculated by like this. By using this formula, uh, we then obtain the probability density function of Wn is written by like this. Okay. Next, we estimate the Kolmogorov distance between the distribution function of this Wn and the free extreme value distribution in the case when gamma equal to zero. The key of calculation is to use the Stein method. Using the Stein type equation, 
we obtain the upper bound of the Kolmogorov distance. We divide three steps. First step, for each x, we get the unique bounded solution of differential equation as follows, where S0 is a stain type kernel of psi0. We then obtain the dis difference between uh, distribution function and the free extreme value distribution of psi0 is written by the expectation of like here. By using the differential equation, we get here. Lastly, we define the operation S0n by setting here. Then we obtain the expectation of S0n phi x double n is equal to this, this limit. By step two, the distance of here is written by the expectation of S0 phi x w n. By step three, the expectation is written by here. Finally, by using the definition of S0 and S0 n, this value is written by here. We get the absolute value of this is less than y equal to here by using the tri triangle inequality and the facts of uniform estimation of phi x. Finally, uh, by using, uh, by calculating the absolute value of ux, we can get is less than y equal to here. In today's case, alpha is equal to here and Wn is equal to here. Then we have the column golf distance is less than y equal to like this by using the previous page. By simply calculation, we get this is equal to the one plus one over n plus n minus one log of one minus one over n. Finally, we obtain the following theorem. Okay, we give today's conclusion. We obtained a uniform bound of the column golf distance between the distribution function of Wn and free extreme value distributions. Result of the rate of convergence is very similar to classical case as follows. In classical case, a rate of convergence towards extreme value distribution was obtained by uh, two over exponential times n minus one. So the result is the same regardless of the type of extreme value distributions. Comparing with classical case, so we know uh, the free case is very similar to classical case. Okay, so a rate convergence towards free extreme value distribution is obtained by here. And the result is the same uh, regardless of the type of free extreme value distributions. Okay, today I introduced result in the case when the sample distribution is Gumbel distribution. But in this paper, we obtain more generalization of today's result. Please find the archive paper if you are interested in free X in body theory. Okay, I'll stop at talk. Thank you so much.